Well, we're still in Halloween Town. However, for the current session, I have elected to play as Christmas Ciel. Because uh, I wanted to play as Ciel at some point, and uh, I saw that she had, oh, some seasonal variants, and, well, okay, there's Valentine's, Summer, and Christmas, and Christmas was the one I liked best. Uh, summer's actually pretty cool, too. Um, it's a little bit more than just your standard, standard, um, you know, weeb bait swimsuit anime, so that was, that's kind of, you know what, no, let's, let's go have a look at it. And, uh, we can look at all the characters, look at all, all their models here, so, um, Valentine's Day kind of sucks. Uh, well, I don't like it anyway, so, where, 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 where are you? Just, um... Ignore all of the spoiler characters here. See? Like, swimsuit yell is pretty cool, too. But I went with Christmas. Because I like blue more than red. That's all. <laughs> that was my uh, line of reasoning here. And then, um, you know, I haven't memorized every single playable character in this game, but... Ciel, to my knowledge, is the only actual human character, uh, playable character anyway, so I decided it would be more fitting to give her a machine gun than a buster. So, um, yeah, that's why this is switched. And then I switched out the saber for a cannon as well. Just, I, I feel like, okay, it's time to try out some, some different weapons in earnest. Uh, cause there's like, there's a machine gun, I think there's a spreader and a cannon, which most of which I'd never used. I think I'd, I switched over something with Vile, but uh, that was about it. So here we go, Mega Man 7, Old Castle, um, Shade Man's stage. Just based on the background, I kind of, I, I kind of, for some reason, thought it was Night Man's stage from Mega Man 6 at first, but it was like, no. Stop being stupid, Ryan. That's stupid. I also leveled up, I, I leveled up pretty much everything. Uh, cards, chips, armor, you name it. Uh, I've got upgrades in spades. Look at that! There's a free item right there. Nice. Player, you're here. Actually, there's something I've been waiting to talk to you about. Or wanting. Out of the blue, Miss Iko? I haven't even explained what level this is. Oh, or you can go ahead. But let's be concise and strong, so I'll give you ten seconds. Only... only ten seconds? Uh, hi, player. This level is... Time's up. What a shame. My turn. Oh. Player, you seem to be using my hunter program a bit too casually. It's not every day you get to use Ico. I hope you can use it wisely. Oh, yeah, I didn't earn that. I think. Is that all you have to say? Yeah. Hey, Ico. Did you come here just to talk about such trivial things? How rude of you to say that. If there's someone to blame, it's your fault for not guiding the players properly. Yeah. Okay, Miss Aiko, calm down a little. <sighs> Rico, you're the same. You're too chill. Did you forget your ability to parse and materialize is crucial to our connection to this world? I remember everything. As long as the player restores the deep log to their original state, and I materialize everyone into the Maverick Hunter program. We will not be a regular data, but we'll be able to survive as Mega Man X series characters, right? Oh, you remember it well. Looks like I need to reward you all. How about a cup of Darjeeling? Oh, I'll take it. Hey, Rico, what are you two up to over there? Let's move on. You see, Vaya is angry! <sighs> Sorry, player. It's my sister's fault for not teaching you well. How embarrassing. Uh, player, who do you think is the older sister, me or Aiko? It's definitely me, isn't it? Who cares? Quite frankly. Uh-oh. Out of bullets. 
Good thing I got two guns. Alright, I got Cyber Elves too. So I should be using... And they're basically just like, I think they're like just permanent buffs. Well, not permanent, but as long as they're deployed. So uh, there's no reason not to have them on it all the time. It's just a matter of remembering to hit the button. Unlike the actual Mega Man Zero games, in which uh, your ranking gets tanked if you use any Cyber Elves at all. So, that, uh, that always made those games a lot harder than they really needed to be. And as my one major criticism of that ranking system, is that it's like, okay, here, we're gonna give you this huge array of buffs, but if you want the S ranks, and the bonuses that you earn from earning the S ranks, you can't use these buffs. Which I think is stupid. Like, let us engage with the game mechanics without penalty, please. Uh, that's neither here nor there. This game has none of that. It does have rankings, but uh, every stage has like, basically the same criteria. Okay, players, let's get going. Miss Aiko, I feel so relieved to have you here to help me. As I said before, I'm not just purely helping, right, Vaya? You guys, originally I thought it would be faster to remove the player directly. Your ideas keep changing. I've never changed my mind. Just talking trash to you guys because I want to mess with you all. No wonder! I forgot to explain the level to the player! Hey, it's obvious that you forgot. Don't blame others. And Aiko, I see you're having fun too. Vaya, say one more word and I'll destroy you. Oh, that's scary. Player, Rico, you guys go first. We need to investigate the area more carefully. Investigate? Alright. Player, let's go. They've left. Aiko, you need to work on your acting skills. I don't know what you mean. I just see that they are quite idle, so that's why I joined this mission. Never mind. I'm sure you've sensed the vibe yourself. Do you plan to protect them from the sidelines? Oh. You have a great imagination. I was just looking for the source of the vibe. If that's really what the player is after, that's what I want. Uh, yeah, maybe that's what we're looking for in existence. Okay, sure. Why am I... Are these just gonna hand out the little purple guys as freebies? Because I'm okay with that. There's been enough stages where I can't find them at all, so... I'll, I'll take stages and just give them to me. Uh, no, come on. CL, you gotta climb. I know you're a people, and not really made for wall jumping, but you can do it. It's in the game mechanics, you'll be fine. Well, I mean, I guess the other... all the other characters are people, too. Just robot people instead of human people. I mean, I'm getting philosophical again here. <laughs> what defines a person? a very good question, one that I don't have an answer to. And you would think, oh, well, a human being. But then that excludes any, like, sufficiently advanced AI or aliens from being people. Which, I mean, in theory, they could be indistinguishable from you know, a person, as far as personhood goes. I should say indistinguishable from a human, as far as personhood goes, but it's a, it's a, it's a great thought train to follow, I think, and just, ah, 
it's like I said last episode, I really like like that kind of just thinking philosophy, right? Are they going to talk in every stage now? Mmm. It doesn't taste good. The boiling water is probably overcooked. What? I go. Wait, why do you have time to drink tea? You've been a bit strange today. I've always been like this. You're the one who came here unannounced to disturb my tea time. What kind of person enjoys tea time in a place like this? I mean, I would. <laughs> but it's a good thing you weren't attacked with irregular data. You're very considerate and very touched. However, if the enemy comes knocking, I'll be ready to fight them off. Come on, player. There's no time to rest now. Hurry up and fix the level. No time to rest? Then what's this cup of tea? Enough about me. Player, Rico, let's go. What the heck? What the heck? That Aiko is a real pain in the ass. She's been on guard duty since just now. I wanted to make them disappear without any pain. I'm kind of regretting not doing that. Um, I was going to ask them to play with me. Aiko definitely found us. That's why they've been following the players around. It's super annoying. But Aya didn't seem to notice. I want to go say hello to him soon. Wait, Angie. You can't show yourself yet. I'm the one who will be scolded by Big Sis. Those guys look so happy. You just can't seem to come to terms with that. That's right. Just use that. I'll be the one to destroy the players. Hey, no freebie this time. Come on. I wasn't complaining about it before. I was just making an observation. Give me the freebies. And the rewards with no effort. Come on. Look, I'm a modern person. The millennial Gen Z. I don't want to work. I just want everything to be given to me. And of course, I'm a bad day. I don't actually think, like, Millennials or Gen Z are actually like that, you know, uh, the, the, the larger scope of things. Some are, absolutely. Um, but I don't think it's necessarily the point that it's a problem. And I'm a Millennial, so I'm making fun of myself, too. So. Just chill. Everybody chill, okay? I wonder what the mid-boss is going to be. Is it going to be the pumpkin? Oh, that's boring. It's medium-sized irregular data. I can't believe this is happening. Just now, there was no response. And I want to just, before anybody says something, I think this is a mini-boss from Crystal Snail Stage Mega Man X2, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. It is indeed a bit strange. Let's be clear, this time it has nothing to do with me, oh. Well, I know. You can only manipulate unorthodox data through corrosion, but there is no way to create irregular data. You know it well. It seems to be around here. Hmm? Mm? Around here? Miss Iko, is it something you know? Or someone you know? <laughs> huh. Rico will always be Rico. I'm relieved. In this, in this the area where we can find the guy we've been looking for. As I was supposed to say, is this the area? Yes, it's not in vain that I've been waiting by the player's side. Finally, there is a result. Let's talk about it after we get rid of this guy in front of us. Player, Rico? Understood. Player to battle. Magna Quartz. Yeah, Mega Man X2, and that's definitely Crystal Snail stage. Crystal Snail stage. It is an unknown type of robot found in an energon crystal with an eye-like design in the middle, encased in a huge crystal. It's a bit repetitive. Uh, but the purpose of its production, function, and even why it is buried in the energon crystal are shrouded in mystery. Okay. Oh, right. Some, sometimes the bosses... 
take a while to load after their little text description thing comes up. I don't, I don't really understand it. But... Man, am I weak or what? Block. Okay, so we gotta wait for that buff to wear off. I know at least one of my guns has piercing. Uh, I think it's the machine gun. So do I have to... Like... Blast through the shield? Does it just wear off after a certain amount of time? Like, it's unclear. Success. Not bad for a player. What's that supposed to mean, Rico? By the way, Mr. Vaya, what did you mean by the guy we've been looking for? It's nearby, but that guy won't surface easily. Probably because she hates me. She doesn't want to come out. It's a pity that I was going to prepare black tea to serve my guests. I see you know that guy. I don't know what's his name. I haven't even seen his face before. Player, soon. That guy will soon appear. Oh my god. The English is terrible. I know I keep saying that, and I'm just... You know, being repetitive, like I just uh, criticized the game for being, but man, it's bad. That's right. That guy is also the root cause of this deep recorder program error. Huh? Wasn't it caused by the Sigma virus? Rico, I don't dislike your ignorant side. It really does not work. Why do things never work out the way they should? I'm so pissed off. There, there. Sister droid, let me touch your head. Angie is so sweet. Yes, I was so well behaved, but they don't accept it. It's all their fault. Why are they so happy? It's obviously the fault of the player. Why? I absolutely will not allow it. I got a rare item. It's for leveling up a card. I was just thinking, like, why do we need those? Because I can just feed cards to other cards to level them up. But I guess that one kind of does it for free. So you don't have to buy another card to sacrifice. So three of three. Three of three. Three of three. Oh, nice. I'm perfect on the purple things so far. I guess that means that this is the stage where I'm going to start missing them. I also haven't gone back to all the previous stages to collect the ones I've missed to, to, to this point in time. But... Stop talking! Mr. Faya, you said that the reason for the program error is nearby. What kind of person is he? I haven't actually met him, so I can only confirm that he's not a bad guy. Oh, that's right. In that case, we might have a chance to make friends. Then we won't need to fight. You're so kind and gentle, my sister, indeed. Rico, player, you two listen up. Although the other side is not bad, but you can never understand each other. Even I am also the same. One more piece of advice for you. You must believe wholeheartedly in your mission. Never think for the other side. Especially Rico, as the player's navigator. You must not forget this, understand? Can't think for the other side. But if we can put ourselves in their shoes, then perhaps we can understand each other, right? Rico, your kindness could get you killed. I think it's right to listen to your sister. You're indeed a good girl. However, kindness alone will not save the world. I'm still in days. However, we need to save the world, player. Let's get going. By the way, Mr. Vaya, despite what you just said, I feel like I'm the oldest sister. Well, you listened very carefully. I was actually just subconsciously saying. Anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? It is important. Very important.
Is it though? Um, so look at these columns here. Did somebody just forget to, like, attach something to the top of them, or are they supposed to look like that? It just looks weird to me. It looks unfinished. Oh, yeah, Cyber Elves, let's go. Elf Party, woo! That is actually one of Seal's skills. It's called Elf Party. So I'm not just being fun. I'm, uh, oh no! I can't help but feel that one of the purple things was up that wall that I'm not allowed to go now. You know, for a cannon, this cannon is kind of weak. Personally, feel like it should be doing more damage. Ooh, almost got a level up. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, we got uh, the next little eddy capsule here. So Magna Centipede. Zero. Although I've already purchased... I five-star zero, right? Uh, whoop. Oh, no, I didn't. So this is still actually useful. Nice. Good times. Just let me play. No more narration. We don't need it. Mission Starto! Um, in between recording sessions, I also played one of the uh, Mega Man Legends events. And, uh, I was very happy that they reskinned a lot of the robots to look like Reaver bots from, from the Legends series. I know it's just a little change, like, it, it's entirely cosmetic, but I very much appreciated it. Dang, that Reindeer Cyber Elf is super powerful. Look, it's a, it's a... Portrait of Wily. Oh, come on. I was busy looking at the artwork. Oh, stupid spider webs. Any day now, guys. Ah. Can I go up? Why not? Come on.
this was never my favorite stage in Mega Man 7, but I really I thought it was so cool that you could, like, um, I think you hold, like, the B button while you're selecting the stage or something like that, and it, um, plays, like, a remixed song from, uh, Ghosts and Goblins instead of the regular Shade Man stage theme. I just thought that was really cool, and, um, like, it makes it special that they've, uh, to my knowledge, never done anything like that again, but it would be cool to see it happen another time. Maybe, it, like, I'm sure it doesn't work in this game, but... Like, now that the, the trick doesn't work in this game, but, uh... only found two purple things here. I think. How long are you gonna fool around, droid? Get over it and get it over with and come back. Sister? But why are they so happy? Obviously, I'm also... Don't cry, sister droid. I'm not crying, Angie. How dare they make droid cry? We must destroy them all. Angie, just hide behind me. I can't take it anymore. I will break them into pieces and I'll let them understand that this is what happens when they piss me off. Oh, you're really serious about this. Be careful not to hurt yourself and come back safely. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just like... Like, like neat little Easter eggs that don't really add anything necessarily to the game, but it's just, I guess it adds, but it's not, um, it's not something you would expect or ask for, right? Or you wouldn't have expected or asked for it until Capcom get it, and now it's like, oh, I want it again. Here's a cool thing. Uh, I want more cool things. Shouldn't I get Magna Centipede cards from this? He's the boss, right? Meryl. Players, there doesn't look to be any larger regular data here. Huh? So... Sorry, player. Obviously, there, were, there was no response just now, but suddenly there was a response to the large irregular data. Damn it, it's here. Yeah, it means that the guy is nearby, so there's a way to create large irregular data. Although I would like to leave it to the players. Just in case, if I join forces with you, there should be a way to solve it, right, Aiko? Vaya, uh, you seem to have made a mistake. Have you forgotten that I am also a member of that side? Come to think of it, you were also a member of that side, too. No, it's really not as simple as I thought. Never mind, I think it's okay to let the player handle it. Right, player? Ha, <laughs> of course. And the player has my help on the side. Oh, there's the Wily picture again. He's holding a book. Probably a book on robotics. That's the Magna Centipede. He's the captain of the covert unit and has appeared in Mega Man X2. Player, be careful. This irregular data is very powerful. Damn it. To summon such a powerful irregular data from so far away. You guessed wrong, Vaya. That guy is nearby. Don't be shy. Come on, show yourself, droid. Speak no more. Aiko, I just hate it when you treat me like a child. Well, I'm sorry about that. How about a cup of black tea to calm down? I don't need it. I didn't expect you to be on their side. Seems like I was wrong about you. Don't be mistaken. I'm not on any side. I'm just an irregular data. You're the same, aren't you? Oh, Miss Aiko, do you know her? Nice to meet you. My name is Rico. You are Miss Droit, right? Don't call me like you know me well. Only Angie and his sister are allowed to call me that. Sorry, may I ask your name? You don't need to know my name. Let's start. Player, it's about to start! Magna Centipede. 
also known as the Crimson Assassin. Magnus Sedevi was originally a maverick hunter who belonged to the Zeroth Special Unit, and is so mission-oriented that he will not hesitate to kill even his companions as long as the mission can be carried out. He slipped in one of his missions and was captured and brainwashed by X-Hunters, after which he switched side and joined the X-Hunters. I'm sorry, I cannot... Zeroth Special Unit? What? I mean, that's probably a canon thing in this series, because... Ridiculous things like that are... Par for the course, but, uh... I don't think I, I, uh, well, I won't say never, but I, I rarely fight this guy legit in Mega Man X2. I always use the weapon that destroys his tail, and then it's just a matter of just waiting for, uh, waiting for him to die as he does the same pattern over and over. It worked! Player, is everything okay? Oh, it really doesn't work. I always fail all the time. I'm such a loser. May I ask, how are you doing? If you don't mind, can you tell me about it? Huh? Will you listen to me? But, but... Droid, why don't you tell people your first name? Or your name first. A little bit of uh, dyslexia going on here. Well, my name is Droid Claire. Angie and sister call me Droid. Droid, Droid, Dirt, Dirt. So your name is Dwight Claire. That's a beautiful name. I mean, disagree. It's a bit of a mouthful. Re really? Rico and all of you can also call me Dwight. That's enough, Dwight. Uh, sis, I'm sorry. Erato, please don't be angry with Dwight. Angie, I'm not angry. Dwight, right? What? What's this dangerous vibe? It's terrible translation. That's what it is. Are there three people here? But finally, I found you! Sorry to let you down, Vaya. I just came to say hello to you this time. I'm also here to pick up Droid. Droid, come to your senses. It's those people who are wrong. No! I can't take it! It's all your fault. You are the villains who want to destroy us. But you look so happy. It's too much! Hmm. Obviously, we're also... Droid, do you still not understand? Can't you remember? It's the player's fault. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sister Erito. Let's go! There you go, Droid. Okay, let's leave now. Till next time, then. Take care. <laughs> wait, wait! They've left. Obviously, with a little more time, they can understand Miss Droid better. I can't believe the three of them are also siblings. How ironic. Is it, though? Rico, remember what I just told you? Never think for the other side, or your heart will surely suffer a meltdown. Meltdown? You and they will never be able to understand each other. You only need to think about fixing this world, saving this world. Rico, show your confidence. There will be no problem with your power. Aiko, I know now. That's the way to go, Rico. Vaya, you just said that they are also three siblings, right? You don't think the three of us are siblings, do you? Huh? I'm just like your brother, aren't I? Right, player? I don't want a brother with such a chill personality like you. What? That's too much, isn't it, Rico? Just rely on me, Mr. Vaya. I promise you. Rico, you're the one with the most carefree personality. We did it! Old Castle stage clear. Look at all the goodies! Yay! The 360 of these W tanks, whatever they call them, energy 
compressors or something or other. Ooh, bouncy ball memory. Cool. Um, they cost a hell of a lot, and 360 really isn't very many. Hold on. Oh, that was it. Okay, so one thing I wanted to point out is if we go to chips, I would like to see 3D remakes of all the, well, the, the first, or X2 to X6, and maybe fix X5 and X6 along the way. Um, however, I, I should say I, I would like to see remakes of them in the vein of Maverick Hunter X, because it was a really good remake. One thing I never considered is that we do not need a 3D model of Toxic Sea Horse, because... Look at this thing! It's ridiculous! <laughs> oh, I hate it! I hate it! Oh yeah, so the... Compound Energies. So, for like, the level 1 analysis rate, you need 300 of them. 500. 750. 1500. And then 3000 for the final level. So really, getting 350 as a reward? It's not great. Alright, so we gotta fight the goth girl first. Claire, you've got to be careful. There's something very evil looming around. Rico, you noticed it too, huh? The three siblings should be just ahead. Well, Miss Aiko, what did you mean exactly by don't be considerate towards others, just think about ways to save the world? I still feel like we should be able to truly understand each other. Miss Trot Claire must feel that way too. Rico, haven't I lectured you on this already? Your kindness will be the death of you one day, and your heart will be shattered because of it. Yeah, but what does that really mean? Vaya, it's all your fault. Now should be a good time to come clean to Player and Rico, don't you think? You're right. Player, Rico, sorry we've been hiding this from you. Huh? Why are you so serious all of a sudden? Don't be like this, please. Why can't we just mess around like always? Rico, would you just please listen to me? And before I begin, I'd like to say I'm usually not the one to start messing around. You were the one who does that. Didn't I say that already when the three siblings showed up earlier? They are the ones we've been looking for? Um, do you mean that they are the partners that we've been looking for? Unfortunately not. If we really have to talk about it, they are the cause of the Deep Log's error. I believe if we are able to stop them, the world would be restored back to normal. To be exact, they aren't the direct cause of the error. That's right. Their bodies were sealed with the virus that caused the error, and carried the virus as hosts to the deep log. That's their mission, and the fate that they have to bear. How is that even possible? So in that case, they and Mr. Claire might not even want the world to become the, this way in the first place, but was just born this way. You might be right. But it's a shame that this is their mission in this world. Just like Player and Rico, you both have your own mission, which is to right the wrongs and restore the world back to normal. But as long as we put our minds to it, we can still be friends after we clear the air, can't we? Maybe they'll even help us in fixing the world. Rico, I can't be any clearer on this. You just need to worry about how to restore the world. That is your mission. It's also the reason why I was born here, and my mission in this world. That's right. We are counting on you guys. Please, player, Rico. Let's continue forward. You were the only ones that can save them. Oh, there's nothing to look for back there, is there? Deet doot doot. Well, ah, enemies. This is supposed to be a boss stage, I thought. Perhaps naively.
Oh crap! The lava was surprising. Yeesh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not a wall I can climb on. Uh oh. I'm sorry, CL. I didn't mean to get you murdered. Ah! It's so annoying and infuriating. You finally shown yourself, Rod Claire. Crap! Such a powerful aura. It has always been like this. You guys are such a close knit group, and yet you still want to destroy us. I won't let you succeed. I will protect Angie and Arato. Miss Droid, would you please help and restore the world with us? Quiet. Not another word. You're looking for an excuse to get closer and destroy us, aren't you? We're all just doing this involuntarily. It's all because of the mission that we were born to carry out. Aiko, you too. You went too far. Huh? It looks like you want to befriend and have a good time with player Rico and the others. N no It's just... You've always wanted to destroy us. And plus you guys always look like such good friends. So I... Miss what? If you're up for it, we are more than happy to welcome you in too. Right, player? Don't call me like you know me. Only Angie and Miss Eratorier can call me that. I'm sorry, Miss Dwight, Claire. If you don't mind, want to come over and chat with us? <coughs> Rico, have you forgotten what I've told you earlier? Miss Aiko, I know, but I want to believe in them. Oh, I just recalled. Miss Aiko, do you happen to have some black tea? We should all grab a cup of tea together. Huh? We... together? Uh, alright. I'll have some since you say so. Oh well. You can call me Drot. Drot. Wow! Wah! It hurts! I'm sorry, Arato. It's really all because of you. You're the reason why my siblings are in such pain. Claire, Rico, Vaya, I will most definitely defeat you here. And, Arato, this is for our best, right? Let's go. I didn't think there would be an actual stage here, so I didn't look if there were purple things. But uh, if, I feel like I would have seen one by now if there were. Uh oh, choice. Not a choice. Phew. Oh, hi, Rico. You exist in the material world. That's strange. Hey, player, look. There's a capsule. Mom. The capsules look a bit like the one you used to analyze Ico's hunter program. Oh, this had happened before too? Miss Ico, stop playing dumb. Claire, I'm going to go analyze the capsule. We might be able to learn more about Miss Drock Claire and the others. If we succeed, maybe Miss Drock Claire and the others can still stay in this deep log after the fix. Rico, you still haven't changed your thoughts, eh? Are they your enemies or not? No, they're not. Miss Aiko, you said it yourself. Isn't it only because they were born with a mission to carry? So I believe we can find a joint path where we all get to survive. This... this is my... Your mission, right? Right. Wait, don't steal my lines, Mr. Vaya. You guys are still alive, huh? Miss Dwight Claire, please hold on a little longer. We'll be able to save you. After all this ends, we should try to make... We should try Miss Aiko's tea together and have a little chat while we're at it. Huh? Can Anjanerito join as well? Of course! I'll analyze... I'll analyze this quickly. Let me handle it. Oh, okay. In that case, Rico and Player can just call me Drot from now on. That's enough, Drot. Wow! It, it hurts! I'm sorry, Arato. Please don't do this. Stop! There must be a way for us to get along peacefully. Because that is my mission. You got it wrong. I didn't do anything to Drot. Aren't you the ones that wanted to harm her? On top of that, I'm afraid I can't get along with you guys peacefully. Aiko didn't tell you the same. After all, being enemies is what it is. Ain't that right? It is definitely a pity. Yes, pity. Such a pity. Why is it only us? Enough. Player, Rico, Vaya, Aiko. 
I'm going to destroy you all. Irregular data has appeared. But I need to analyze this capsule. Please cover me. Player, time to show us what you've got. Your mission now is to protect Rico. Starting now, do your best to cover Rico. Boodly boop. I got it! Rico, are you done with the analysis? I'm done, but... What's wrong? Troy's hunter program data isn't in there? There's something that looks like Miss Watt Claire's data in there. However, that signal from deep within... Might be that error-causing virus Mr. Vaya mentioned earlier. Is it Sigma? Yeah, it seems like the Sigma virus might be hiding in Miss Watt Claire's body. Or more like, sealed in her body. My goodness, that's exactly what I thought. It's not just Watt. The other two siblings have that evil aura too. Their bodies are probably sealed with that virus as well. All three of them were sealed with that ferocious virus since birth. That's... It's so cruel. Is that this story's mission too? Rico, I warned you already. Even so... <clears throat> are you still willing to search for the truth and continue to journey forward? I... My mission is to save the world with player. And... Even if this world is restored back to normal, we can continue to exist in this world as characters in Mega Man X. This includes Mr. Vaya and Miss Aiko. I hope everyone can become a character in Mega Man X and live in players' minds indefinitely. I hope to wipe these original characters from my mind as soon as possible. You're always like this, never listening to my advices. Ha <laughs> ha that's Rico all right. Now that Rico has finally made up her mind, we should also get mentally prepared, right, player? Player, are you ready? Let's go save Miss Duat, Claire, and the others, and manifest them one by one. Hey, Rico, that was such a rushed ending for all that talk. Was that the... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> I don't know. My brother just sent me a gif of a Garchomp, so... I'm not sure what to think. Player, Rico, you're here. Yes, we are going to save all of you. Just wait. Just a bit more. Then I can manifest you into the Hunter program and make a connection to this world through you. Um, R? Really? In that case, Anjanaruto can be... Right, we're going to help everyone. But didn't you come to fix us? Because we are irregular data? Uh, it seems like you forgot about it. Via Rico and I are all irregular data, and we're born because of program errors. Hello? She was indeed correct. Nice to meet you all. Oh, it was that kind of hello. I thought he was being sarcastic. Hello! So, everyone shares this in common? Yes, you and everyone else here. But don't you think it's unfair, Drawat? They seem to be having so much fun, and I think I'd love to join them as well. Arg! This is so infuriating. Sweet talks would never work on us. You should all get lost. Anyone who dares harass us siblings will. Arg! Is she gonna transform? Ooh! X4 Sigma! That thing, it's Sigma. The Sigma inside Drawat's body has finally been released. Player, this guy is the culprit behind it all. Are you ready to take on the challenge? Hell yeah. It's hard to imagine that a monster like this found its way into Drawat's body. 
This virus is so wicked and such a mess to deal with. This virus is the culprit. Hey, it's all up to you now. Please defeat him, save Mr. Watt and those siblings. And restore Deep Log to its initial state. Whether it rains or not, we still play Mega Man X after school. This should be easy for an OG like you. Bah, yes, I, I am an OG. I played Mega Man X when it was first released. Bet. And I was terrible at it. I could not get past any level except for the highway stage. Let's go, player. Wait, um, Ange? Eruto? <clears throat> huh? Oh, he's gonna do the whole thing. Cool. Alright. I dig it. I don't actually like this boss. Whoa, fight. It's kind of annoying, but... I just gotta remember the patterns, I think, and then we'll be fine. Holy crap, it's got a lot of life. Oh, and I don't. Oh, jeez. Uh, these cyber holes are supposed to reduce the amount of damage I take, but it, it's not enough. Yikers. Yikers, indeed. Oh, oh, I see why I got the gift of a Garchomp. I guess Mega Garchomp releases in Pokemon Go today, and I just... <sighs> I'm doing this. I don't care. Was, did Megas or something that just did not... I thought the Mega Pokemon, or like Mega Evolutions and Pokemon were a really cool thing, but I just do not care about it the way it's been implemented in Pokemon Go. That's not interested. Okay. What weapons have I been using? Beam Machine. It's... I have better things to do! We can't do this without you. I'm busy! Rick. Oh, I've been recording for almost an hour already? Yikers. Don't you want to get your Master Ball? For the Master Ball research that requires like 60 raids, and I've done 20, and uh, there's like, I don't know, 10 days left in the event or something. Like, I know, I don't care. It's too freaking late for me. I'm not spending money on it. Well, I mean, not that I'm not spending money on Pokemon Go, because I have, and I will in the future. <laughs> I will continue to, but not for. Hey, level up. Uh, we'll continue to in the future, but I'm just... I'm doing this right now. I think uh, that should get me my next upgrade tier, no? 38. I gotta beat this Sigma. You have no idea how long it took me to actually beat that Sigma in Mega Man X4. Lots and lots of practice. 
should be better at it. You get 13 raid passes today or something. Oh. Frick. Ugh. I'm being unhappy playing this. I don't want to go. And I think I have to. If you don't have any clue what I'm talking about because you don't play Pokemon Go, that's... Probably for the best. I said last episode that I don't play shitty mobile games, but that I lied, I do play Pokemon Go. Um, not like every day, I'm not a hardcore player. Um, but I do play fairly consistently. It's fun, it's a good way to motivate myself to get outside more than I would otherwise, so... I appreciate that much about it. Uh, okay, which one of these guys are I? Toxic Seahorse. Let's... Let's use up some of these purple ones, too. To, um... There we go. It's a pretty big stat boost. Magma and Dragoon can go up a bit, too. The problem with Magma Dragoon is he's only got the one star, and I'd need to go back and actually grind the boss, because you can't... You can't buy your way to victory on that one. Oh no, they're gonna talk again? Shut up. I was really hoping to get- I, I thought this one in the next, like, world thing would just be bosses. I thought I was gonna get through, um, the previous world, and this one, and the next boss, and then the world after that in this video, and it looks like that's just not going to happen. This is a little more challenging than I had anticipated. But that's good. A challenge is good. I like it. I don't need a challenge to have like, fun, like some people, and I'm not, like, condemning them for that. That's just... You know, that's fine. Um, but I'm not like that. I do enjoy a challenge, but it's not a requisite. As long as I'm bouncing around and blasting things, I'm having fun. Ow, that was stupid. I should have waited. Curse my impatience. Shush. It is nice that when you replay levels that you've beaten, it automatically skips all the dialogue, but I kind of wish it would just skip it if you've seen it at all before. Oh. Okay, Sigma. I should do a good amount more damage this time. Hopefully. I don't know if it'll be enough to carry me to victory, but I'm gonna try. Oh. Well, that was almost the way to deal with it. I feel like I'm carving through his health pretty good. Maybe I'm, uh, 
little. That's the word delusional there. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is going way better than last time. I don't think I'm gonna get the the. Well, maybe. Oh yeah, look at that! I got a huge heal at the end there. The seal's got life steal as an innate ability. That 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 was good. Are you all right? Hey, player Enrico. Players defeated Sigma virus and the schmuck that was in your body. <laughs> nice. Okay, I don't know how they got the word schmuck in there, but I appreciate it. Then you should be able to manifest into the Hunter program as well. Is that so? And then from now on, I can be with player Rico and you guys and restore this world together? That's right, Miss Claire. Come join the fight with us. Rico, as a result, I will not be a regular data anymore, but a character in Mega Man X for our players. Hi. Correct. And now we still need to save Miss Ange and Miss Erato. Let's return to base and discuss about, uh, about our battle plan. Uh, our mission is complete. Thank you. Ah, uh, Rico, you win. I'll allow you to call me Drot. Why? Why is this happening? Why is this still happening even when we've defeated the Sigma? Sagama virus. That's new. That was our mission. And this is the result of us completing our missions. You guys knew that already, didn't you? Erato, what happened to Drot? Angepitoyer. Listen. That group of people caused all the mishaps. It was them who took your Drot Claire to a distant place. So that's them, huh? They're the ones that took Drot away. I will not forgive them. They tricked me into thinking we were going to have fun together. How dare you treat Drot like that. Okay, that's enough, Anja, but away you are. We call it a day and retreat for today. Let us complete our missions. Those pathetic missions. Okay. Why would this happen to Miss Drot? Player, what should we do now? Rico, calm down. This isn't like you. Didn't you touch Dwat's body after defeating Sigma? Then you should know how to manifest Dwat's body into the Hunter program. Rico, you can definitely do it. You can save her for sure. And save her siblings as well. It's only us now. Ain't that right, player? Yeah, I got this, player. I'm going to analyze Miss Dwat Claire, Miss Dwat's Hunter program. And let's annihilate the rest of the Sigma virus. Player! Player, I hope you didn't get frustrated over this. Pull yourself together, because you still need to save this world with Rico and us. You need to be on watch before Rico finishes her analysis on Dwat, understood? How about you let me serve you a cup of tea? Well, I guess I'm getting a bit tired too. Thanks for getting me a cup as well, Aiko. Vaya, just go drink hot water instead. What's with that attitude? Because that's the way we are. Sounds about right. Sure. Host of Annihilation. Stage clear. Alright, well, I've been playing enough for a video anyway, so... Like, full video. It's over an hour at this point? Must be. Beep. Uh, yeah. An hour five, that's good enough. And uh, I can cut out a little bit here and there, but ooh, prizes! Ah, see, now I can summon Duat Claire. And this is a French, like, uh, what is it when you put two words together? Portmanteau. They don't really fit together because like Duat is right and Claire is clear, or right. I don't know. Uh, it's something. Claire? I don't know. It's like a French name. I don't know what Andrew Pertoyer is. But I could have told... I, I could have... God, phone, leave me alone. I 
I thought this character was like out of Galgun or something when I first saw her. I was like, what is this nonsense? Come on, Capcom. Whatever, it's uh, not nearly as a design as uh, Titty Monster here. So, you know, it is what it is. So we'll call that uh, we'll call that a day, I suppose. Just based on today's experience, I think next time <clears throat> we'll be looking at oh spoilers, <laughs> all of them. Probably clearing Angiputoyer stage and Dynamo, and then I think I'm just gonna like barrel through the last three, however long they end up being. Um, in the video after that. And then after that, we'll finally look at Jacob Orbital Elevator and Race Mode. So, I hope you're looking forward to it. Yeah, there's a lot of Mega Man X Dive yet to come, so stay tuned. Um, that said, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye bye